I like this. Gotcha, bitch. Oh shit, she's like, Whoa, calm down, you know what I'm saying? God damn, back up. I don't know if I would ever date again. So he's gonna stop the cow. He doesn't listen and he's stubborn. Tiamo, what does she say? Who are you two and how do you know each other? Uh, this is my wife. <laughs> oh shit. I can introduce myself. I'm Junior. And I'm Tele. I'm Takia. I'm Kayla. Okay. How long you two been together? Mm, like eight months? Ten years. Ten wow. years is a long time. Who's the better listener out of you two? Wait a minute. Mm. Hey, whenever that question comes up, you got to play strategic warfare, man. Like nothing good comes from getting the true answer. It's better to just let them have their way and avoid any form of friction. How can you be a, a better listener when you talk all the time? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> Yo, this man's risking it all. He's risking it all. Wait a second. One of you will be backstage answering questions about yourself, and then your partner will be here in the studio seeing if they can give the same answers, and we're going to see who knows the most about the other person. Okay, bet. I like this. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, shit. She's like, Whoa, calm down, you know what I'm saying? God damn, back up. <laughs> who do you think is going to win? We shall see. <laughs> Uh, nah, I could tell bro be playing strategic warfare on a nine to five, man. He is treading lightly and I can see she's dangerous, boy. Junior can go first since you're so confident. Oh, Let's do shit. it. Okay, you ready for the first question? Uh, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. How old were you when you lost your virginity? 21? I don't think she knows this. 18? 19? <laughs> I don't. I can't believe I didn't ask this before we came. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. So they're 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 trying to see how much they know about the other person. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Seventeen. Do you think Tiamo's gonna get it right? No. How old was Tele when she lost her virginity? Fifteen. Uh, oh my God, this bro got no faith, man. He's like, nah, this girl was fifteen as. F I was nineteen. Look at him sweating. <laughs> <laughs> how old was your partner when she lost her virginity? Nineteen. Ooh. Okay. 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 I love you first. It was me. It was via text. She said it in a text message. <laughs> and I was like. In a text message? Are you kidding me? It was my deal, but I was feeling it. Yeah. She was feeling that shit, right? It was all the haptics going through the core, right? She felt it in all the nerve receptors. Shit. Matthew, who said I love you first? Uh, I did. We were in his shower. How did that happen? What? <laughs> she was like, uh, I kind of want to tell you something, but I don't know if I... Cat, cat, that's not what the fuck I said. Nah, Matthew must be throwing down some damn good <laughs> man, because <laughs> that, that that ain't just a normal black woman, man. Just that That's a black woman with some edge to her, man. So he must be throwing down some good... <laughs> a woman like that, yeah, for her to, to... Like, you'd expect a woman like that to have, like, you know, a real ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what kind of pipe he laying down, but it's on some philosophical shit, something I'll never understand. Who said I love you first? I did. She did. I think it was off a of reaction, like she must have did something. That <laughs> <laughs> is absolutely not true. That sounds true. Your partner's most annoying trait. Ooh, y'all finna get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't listen and he's stubborn. Tiamo, what does she say is your most annoying trait? When she talks and then I interrupt her. <laughs> oh, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they're in that dynamic. That's a dangerous dynamic to be in, man. Free yourself, my G. <laughs> See, don't listen. I think it, right now it's the mess, it's the clutter. We have very different approaches to cleaning and things like that. There'd be little piles of shit everywhere. Do you think she's gonna answer correctly? I don't know, maybe. What does your partner think is your most annoying trait? I am gonna guess that she's gonna say that I'm messy. Although she's messy, but she doesn't think she is. Hey man, I'm a cleanly kind of guy myself, so I, I, oh shit, man. Finding somebody that is on your wavelength with cleanliness is a tough thing, man, because there is a lot of messy folks out there. And the messiness can get irksome sometimes. Yo. That pot that you burned is still sitting in the sink. Bitch. And I scream <laughs> for you. If your partner were to pass, how long before you would start dating someone else? Oh, this. Oh, my God. This is a real life question, actually. If your partner dies, how long until you date somebody else? This is a real life question. I don't know if I would ever date again. He's gonna Stop right. the cap. Yeah. She can't. She can't move on. <laughs> is that your answer or her answer? She, she knows. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that's a real life question. How long will it take for you to move on? I think she lying, man. Woman got needs. Come on now. You telling me you're going to go the rest of your life with no d That don't make no sense, man. The lies, that, 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 that lie is too immaculate. But yeah, I've seen some people. Hmm, anyway, I'm going to leave that there. But that's a real life question. Sounds like a lot of life to live. You wanted to be happy, right? 
Oh, uh, nah. <laughs> I don't want her to be happy. <laughs> we always have this talk. And I had the same with her. How many sexual partners? Nah, bro. You can't be like that, man. Even, like, it'll suck. But it's like, it's just your, your time in... It's just the, your moment in time, man. You can't hold, like, your, your vow is until death do part. Did you not hear that part? <laughs> Shit. Because I know if my partner were to pass, of course, I'm, I'm going to be busting some form of nut before I die. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, uh, damn. Honor the memory, but still get a little nut. Come on now. Like 30 or less. I, I think I've lied to him a few times. Go ahead. What's he going to say? I actually do have a number for this. <sighs> Around 30. Damn. Okay. How many sexual partners have you had? Two. Five, six. Who? I don't. Know. <laughs> Shit, Shit, Ashley, actually, that's a good. That's a good I, 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 I can't recall the last time I, call, I, I, I thought about that, Ashley. Let me, let me, let me, let me <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, she had 28. 28? No, You're lying. Just, who are you closest with outside of your partner? Probably my sister. What do you think Telly's answer was? That's kind of hard. Is she crying? <laughs> uh, I will have to say that person is not here. Who are you talking oh, about? Oh, wait a minute. Her dad. She oh, okay. Might be, man. Might be. Okay, okay. It got a little emotional there. He did everything with him. And urged me a lot. Because if I'm not there, and then her dad's not there, you know, uh, the next person is probably her sister. Mm. Okay, are you true? I could respect that, my G, man. I, I could respect that, man. You got some soul there, man. You got some soul. You know, for for a man to do that, that must have been a very good dad, man. For to evoke emotion just from thinking about it, that must have been a damn good dad, man. No disrespect to that at all. I don't even think like I know anyone that would evoke an emotion like that on thought. But then again, like there's people that have passed, and I I think it's it's like when I hear a name of someone that I know that died, it's more of like a happy you remember the moment kind of thing. But I don't think I've had a moment where someone would. You, you would think about somebody and then cry. So that must have been a damn good dad, man. Okay, Matthew, first question. Okay. How old were you when you lost your virginity? I literally have no idea. 21. You go to college at 19. 21 is a, the, who, who shit, college must have hit good for Matthew. Holy fuck. Um, okay, I'm gonna say 20. Ooh, so close. So close. 21. <laughs> he was homeschooled, so. <gasps> oh <laughs> shit! We should just put that out for everyone. God damn, she yeah, she aired the fuck out of you just now. How old were you when you lost your virginity? <laughs> I think I was fourteen. Do you think she's gonna? Oh shit, yo, bro was hitting that shit. He was hitting that on an elementary level. Oh damn. Uh, thirteen. How many sexual partners have you had? <laughs> He's about to get real. <laughs> I would say it's probably twenty-three. I'm gonna say seven. Sorry, love. Oh, nah, man. There's a lot more stickers in that passport. Let me tell you. There's a, not stickers. There's a lot more stamps in that passport. Let me tell you. 10, 14. We're going to go higher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit. If partner were to cheat, would you leave them? Nah, cut. Y'all did this to me again? Is this, is this where the actual title comes in? Cut. Y'all need to stop this, man. Y'all need to stop scamming me like this, man. Y'all need to stop scamming me like this, man. This is only a fragment of the video, man. I thought this was the whole video. <sighs> Would he leave you? Yeah, hell yeah. He told me hell yeah, <laughs> bitch. I don't know if it would be like that. If your partner were to pass, how long before you would start dating someone else? Wait a minute. Bro. Nah, cut. You scammed the shit out of me, man. And you better believe I'm gonna scam somebody else. Like, we gonna pass the scam on. You only asked the question once? I got scammed, man. This, this video bamboozled the shit out of me. Holy fuck. Nah, nah. You're damn right I'm gonna co uh, copy the damn title. Hell yeah, we gonna pass it on. That ain't even right. I don't know. 25 years. <laughs> She said 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time. I'm not sure if I'd be able to find anyone else that I'd connect so well with. Yo, these people be underestimating time, man. They be underestimating time. And I understand when you're in long-term relationships, you, you, you kind of think it, this, it's, it's the end-all, be-all. But underestimating time is serious, man. Like You'd be surprised where you would mentally be after a year after a year and a half after the fact like life goes on man that's one thing i learned that's one thing i actually learned in the in in the most depressing ways like after so much people kick the can 
you start looking like you start analyzing the social dynamic of the people they were a part of in life and you realize yo you're only here for a speck of time and time goes on man he said six months six months no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> your biggest fear losing her something happening to me i just feel like my whole life will just come down damn bro it's that like i'll never be good enough you think she's gonna get this right if she remembers well then yes i feel that most definitely must be coming from her family man that definitely has to be he's like scared of feeling not good enough to be with me he totally is i love him so much okay wow i that that was really good <laughs> I, love I think she loves me for my heart and how open I am. now i can't get over the fact that i got scammed bro like i i'm so upset like cut i might not never i might never watch another video again man like bro Y'all scammed me, bro. That, yeah. Whoa. Why do you love your partner? Her ability to see through people and see how their fears, how their... The hell she got observation life. hockey? What? ...turned into something beautiful. I haven't met a lot of people who do that. Why does your partner love you? Probably the biggest thing is how protective I am. He saved me and protected me from a lot of things and a lot of people. Damn. He's held me down when... I literally had nobody or you know when I felt like I had nobody I just yo bro man bro got a lot of emotions in there man god damn but hey it's all love man it's all love I just didn't expect him to be you know the emotional type damn this makes me love him so much more she likes that I'm so smart although is that why she loves me oh, <laughs> I love their dynamic <laughs> because he's so <laughs> There's such a, an interesting dynamic. He's so smart. When I think about Yin and Yang, I think of us. Literally. We're so different. He absolutely adores me, and I feel with that because I'm lit, you know. And I feel like nah, it, it's such a, an interesting dynamic because like she is like straight up like she's like you know on the block type chill, you know she 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 she, she she's with it, and he just has like such a more like suburban vibe you know what i'm saying it's like suburb meets the hood it's like yo this dynamic is crazy she is lit are you already <laughs> see who got the most right tiamo actually got the most right what? damn yes matthew did get the most correct oh i did really yeah yo <laughs> the person who got the most right was kayla say word <laughs> hold on is that it yeah I learned a lot. man i don't even want to see the end of this bitch cut you scammed me man Y'all gotta stop the violence with the scams, bro. Like, I came into this video thinking the whole video was gonna be, would you stick around if I cheated? I thought each of these couples are gonna go through that question. Not only did it only represent a portion of the video, only one couple answered the question. Bruh, I feel betrayed. I feel disrespected. I'm out of here, man. But I enjoyed it, though. It was still a good watch. Am I going to watch any more cut videos? I need to heal, right? I need to heal from all of this betrayal. So I'll see you all for the next video. <laughs> Peace out. Bye.